Hello potato users, so today you want to learn how to increase your frame rate in Dirty Bomb. Definitely a smart choice, uh, as in any shooter, frames per second is a pretty important thing to consider. Full disclosure guys, this video is based off of a Steam Guide that Stoge put together. I know some people learn differently, so I've been fortunate enough to get permission from him to use his written guide as a basis for my video. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, the first thing you want to do is to set up some way to count frames. Uh, there are a bunch of different free programs like Fraps or MSI Afterburner, though I would say MSI Afterburner is a little bit more hardcore because they'll show you a bunch of other things besides just your frame rate. Um, all those are really good options though. Of course, Dirty Bomb also has its own in-game frames per second counter. Uh, just go into a match. Hit the uh, squiggly tilde key, it's the one next to the number 1, and then type in stat FPS, hit enter, and then hit that key again, the, the squiggly key, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, it'll show you the frames per second on the right hand side. The next thing you want to do is to go to your task manager. If you have Windows 8, go to details and click on shooter game win 32 shippingexe Oh, that was a mouthful. If you want, you can set it to high priority. I think it's default uh, normal priority. Um, this uh, definitely don't click on real time uh, as that usually causes problems. If you don't have a details tab in your task manager, try looking under processes. Uh, that's basically the same thing. What this does is essentially shifts the computer's resources to focus on uh, this particular task when it's running. So this particular task meaning uh, Dirty Bomb, obviously. Also make sure Dirty Bomb is running uh, because the shooter game thing won't actually show up in your task manager unless you have Dirty Bomb already running. Another important thing to do is to close out any running programs in the background. I'd recommend when you run Dirty Bomb that it be the only thing running. You can do all this manually, or if you're lazy, you can try one of the uh, game boosters, I know Razer does one, to do all of that for you. Alrighty, so now that we have that set up, the most obvious thing to do is to go into your game, turn all your settings to low. Yes, your game will look a little bland, but hey, if you had to choose, you want frames per second, not an IMAX movie when you're playing a shooter. Now there are other benefits to having low settings as well, besides just having the uh, frame rate boost. You'll notice when you log in with a low setting configuration that everything looks pretty simple, well defined, and target acquisition is pretty easy. Now if that isn't enough, we'll have to bring out the big guns. Now you'll see in the background here, this is some raw footage of me playing on a special setting set by a config file. There are tons and tons of other dirty bomb guides out there with their own optimized files, but you know, Stoge goes into greater details uh, on this in his written guide. But the config file I'm using here was configured by Outsider, who apparently is a competitive dirty bomb player. Essentially, you'll see that the eye candy graphics have been removed, and it's just the bare bones necessary stuff. Now, I heard Lol Nope's config may actually get you even better frames, but as I didn't test it, I just rolled with Outsider setup. So you may be asking, how do I get the special setup? So the first thing you want to do is to click on the link in the description from Pastebin and download that text file. So as you can see, I pulled up the config file as a text on the left, text file on the left. And if you just go to your C drive, go down to users. Um, for me, it's Andrew, the Andrew folder. Good documents. Go down to my games and then click on uh, Unreal Engine 3, that's what it is. Yes, Unreal Engine 3, and then go to Shooter Game, and then go to Config, and then finally to Shooter Engine. That is the file you want to mess with. So, first and foremost, safety first, you want to make a copy. That's right guys, make a copy, make a backup, you know? So as, as you can see, I just left it as copy. That's what I uh, named it as. You can name it whatever you want, but just make sure you have a backup. Now, all you gotta do is open that up, select all, delete, go back to that text file, select all, copy, and then go back to your, uh, your open window there and paste. Save, and you're done. Um, also, remember after you're done, um, right click and go down to properties and make that sucker read only. 
Oh, and also in the text file of uh, the shooter engine file when you edit it, uh, before you save, change the resolution to whatever your monitor is. Uh, look for res X and res Y. I promise that's in there. You can change it and then save it. Remember guys, if you somehow screw this up, and I honestly don't know how you could or would, um, you still have your backup file, right? So don't come back crying, say, ah, somehow my computer exploded and my microwave blew up and it opened a time-space continuum disruption field and I got sucked into it and I'm thrown into the past and I don't know how to get out, hell me, oh my god. No, okay, so if, if that happens, I don't know, look, you, you can leave me a comment in the comment section, but... I can't guarantee any answers because my knowledge is rather limited, so of course do this at your own risk. I'm sure you can always reinstall the game or go to the Dirty Bomb forums as there are more people who are more knowledgeable than I am on that, but uh, my knowledge is quite limited as far as troubleshooting goes. Um, I will say though, even though I do have a pretty decent setup and I can run the game at max settings with pretty good frame rates, I actually kind of enjoyed playing the game at the lower settings as well. Um, it had that nice clean look, you know, and maybe this is all in my head and totally placebo, but I felt like I can easily pick up my targets and I felt like I can track them a lot easier. Another thing you can try out is to unpark your CPUs. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I'll link the program in the description. It basically just makes sure that none of your CPUs are parked when Dirty Bomb is running. Pretty easy to follow, um, just follow the prompts and unpark all cores. So with that guys, I think that just about covers all of it. Let me know if this guide has helped you or if you have any other cool tips for increasing your frame rates. Uh, total disclaimer, as I said earlier, please don't blame me if somehow your game blows up, alright guys? Um, it really shouldn't. I feel like messing with the configs is pretty easy. Um, it's pretty obvious the whole process, but I just really, you know, never know with some of you. Um, please be sure to hit that like button, and as always, click the subscribe button if you enjoyed my content.